This is a little bit disorienting because I'm walking backwards. <laughs> I'm at this year's SCDF's Work Plan Seminar, where they've unveiled several new facilities and equipment that will enhance the performance of emergency frontline responders. For example, we're going to check out what SCDF calls the Excel facility, which actually trains the physical and fitness conditioning of emergency responders and enhances their performance. I'm also going to be trying out what SCDF calls a heat lab, where I'll be undergoing almost a full simulation of what SCDF emergency responders go through in a physical fire. How long was that? 30, 30 seconds. Okay. A little bit, but I think it's because of the heat, not so much the weight. Hold on to the handle, hold okay. on to the grips. Yep. Try to bring it close to your body mm -hmm. and you lift it up with your legs. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way. Okay. This is a little bit disorienting because I'm walking backwards. <laughs> yeah. And it's almost like I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. <laughs> or like fall off a cliff backwards. I just underwent what SCDF emergency responders go through in the heat lab, minus their uh, physical gear. But I did carry the 10 kg breathing apparatus as I did four different stations, one of which included carrying 12 kgs uh, on each arm in the form of a water hose, together with my 10 kg backpack. Another one included carrying a casualty while walking backwards on an up-inclined uh, treadmill, uh, also carrying my 10 kg breathing apparatus. Newfound respect for all SCDF emergency responders having to maintain composure amid such physically grueling situations, you know, whether it's fighting fires in extreme cold or extremely hot situations. <laughs>